your guide to voting in 2022. Will senior citizens and PWDs have priority going inside the voting center? Yes, PWD and senior voters will enjoy priority in the temperature checks and in going inside the voting center. Once inside, if you will vote in an Emergency Accessible Polling Place or EAPP, it will be on a first-come, first-served basis. On the other hand, if you are voting in a regular polling place, not the EAPP, you will enjoy priority because voters here are mixed. I am a PWD or senior voter. What are the things I can do to make my voting faster and safer? Before Election Day, we suggest that you ask your assister to visit the voting center to look for your designated polling place based on your precinct number. At the voting center, there will be a list of which precincts are clustered, their room assignments, and a layout of the rooms that will be used for voting. Your assister should check if your room assignment is accessible. Based on this information, you can then decide if it's more convenient for you to vote in your own polling place or in an EAPP. If you plan to vote in your assigned polling place, you will need to know your sequence number aside from your precinct number. We have separate videos on how to find out your precinct and sequence numbers ahead of time. Once you have these information, you can skip the lines and go straight to your assigned polling place on Election Day. On the other hand, if you think voting in an EAPP is best for you, you can ask your assister to get a copy of the authorization form used in EAPPs a day in advance. Fill this up at home to cut the waiting time. Then, on Election Day, you show up at the EAPP with your senior or PWD ID card and accomplished authorization form, and they will sort things out for you. Just note that voting in EAPPs is on a first-come, first-served basis. Lastly, to make the voting process safer and more comfortable on Election Day, we suggest that you bring your own pen, alcohol, and wipes. You may also want to bring an umbrella, a fan, and your own water bottle. It will already be the height of summer in May, and the temperature can be very warm. And before we forget, we suggest that you list down on a piece of paper all the persons you will vote for, for faster shading of the ballots. This will also help prevent overvoting. Good luck! I turned 60 a few weeks ago, but I still don't have a senior citizen card. Can I already avail of the priority lanes, EAPPs, and other senior citizen privileges, even without a senior ID? Yes! Senior citizen benefits can be enjoyed even without a senior ID yet. To avoid any inconvenience though, it is best to bring any ID showing your birth date as proof that you are 60 and above, such as a driver's license or a passport. How come some senior and PWD voters are able to vote in APPs? Voting in accessible polling places or APPs is an option given to all senior and PWD voters during registration. However, many are unaware of this. As a result, majority of our senior and PWD voters have not availed of this facility and are randomly scattered in polling places that are not accessible. EAPPs, which are different from APPs, were designed to help these senior and PWD voters whose room assignments are located in the upper floors of multi-level voting centers. What's the difference between APPs and EAPPs? APPs and EAPPs have similarities. Both have accessibility features suitable for senior and PWD voters. However, APPs have their own vote counting machines or VCM, so the voter can insert his or her ballot personally into the machine. This is currently not possible in EAPPs. Voting procedure are also much simpler in APPs. Check our other video on how to vote in EAPPs. Who can be an assister? 
The person indicated in the Election Day Computerized Voters List, or EDCVL, to assist a specific PWD or senior voter is the preferred assister. However, if a PWD or senior voter manifestly needs assistance in voting, he or she may be assisted by anyone in the following list, in the order provided. Number 1. A relative by consanguinity or affinity up to the fourth civil degree. This could be a parent, a son, a daughter, a sibling, a grandparent or grandchild, an uncle, an aunt or a cousin, by blood or an in-law. A person of confidence belonging in the same household, like a caregiver or a nurse. And lastly, number three, any EAPP support staff. Note that all assisters must be at least 18 years old and only election personnel can assist more than three times. Vote safe, Pilipinas!